All right, this is kind of on my list of things to do. I was going to make a movie about uh, two of these micro starters that I picked up. One's this Insta Boost, which we got at, uh, I think it's Lowe's. One of these new um, tiny, you know, small batteries. And then, uh, you know, you plug, plug the uh, connectors in and it's supposed to be able to put out, you know, 200 amps or something like that. And this is a larger version. Um, made by MicroStart. This is supposed to be heavy duty. It's supposed to be able to start trucks and diesels and all the rest of that kind of stuff. The InstaBoost tried it the other day when my wife's Kia was dead. Um, it's a 2013 with a V6. It would not start it. Um, yeah, it gave it enough power to make it click, but that was about it. The MicroStart haven't tried it on anything yet. I've charged both of them up all the way. So, as luck would have it, my truck is dead today after our last snowstorm. And I'm going to hook them up, put an uh, inductive clamp on the lead. We'll see what kind of amps they pull and see if they'll start the truck. And just so you know... That's where we are with trying to get it started obviously whichever one goes second is going to have a little bit of an advantage so I'll try to just fire it off and then shut it right back off and we're going to try the insta boost first okay this section of the video is actually shot after I've tested the two uh, jump starters and the reason I'm doing that is so that we'll have uh, a number some numbers to compare the jump starters to battery's been charged it's up to 13 volts so it's back to normal put a carbon pile loader on it and it it's acting normal um still on an 800 amp uh setting on the amp meter so every digit is one one amp you can see it's on about an amp for it to run the computer in the underhood light and that kind of stuff uh so 100 amps over there is going to be a or 100 will be 100 amps so i'm going to crank the truck and then we'll know what the starter normally pulls um, and then as you're watching the video and we're testing the two jumpers, you can compare the amperage that they're supplying to what the starter drew and then have a good idea of how well they operated and how, how marginal they were or how much capa extra capacity they had. Okay, I didn't get to see obviously uh, what the amp meter read, but uh, I'll post it in the, um, the the comment section below. I'll go ahead and enter that, and then I'll enter the, enter the pink amps that I saw on the two different jumpers, and hope that helps you uh, figure out which one's the better one. Okay. See, I got the Insta Boost hooked up there. Um, this is reading battery voltage still. This is on an 800 amp scale. It's an inductive amp meter. And so every digit is one amp. 100 would be 100 amps. We'll see uh, whether this thing's going to fire it up or not. Now, you got about a minute before the thing times out, or basically it's not, you know, it, uh, I guess, can overheat or something like that. But anyway, we'll hook it up to the positive lead and should see battery voltage and try to hit the starter. Okay, you can see it's uh, doing its thing, putting about 20 amps in there, and let's try to crank it. Well, good deal. I made it. I'm going to unhook it, see if, uh, what happens after that. So, uh, it did work. We're going to try the uh, in micro start and see how that does. Okay, got the micro start hooked up. Um, man, those leads are short on it, so it's kind of a pain in the butt just to hook up and find a place where it's going to lay. It's got a little boost button here. I'm going to push it. That'll give it full power. And we're going to hook up the positive cable and try to see what happens. Alright, it's lit up. Looks like it's putting in about 30 amps, 22, 19. And we'll try to crank it. Ok, 
okay it definitely worked um looks like it's still putting in five amps so it's still trying to charge it could we could hit it again i guess but uh anyway you guys get a couple a good look at both those two types of starters um looks to me like uh that insta boost is just barely uh, able to crank this truck like I say we tried it on the wise Kia it, it would not crank it and that battery was stone cold dead so if you're dealing with anything that uh, may be completely dead you may want to opt for something bigger and heavier duty this is about twice the money but uh, it's definitely going to stay with me uh, insta boost is just something that maybe if you left it on uh, in the parking lot while you're in eating and then you came out and it was dead you might be able to get cranked but uh, it's a little iffy for me I was reading or watching all the videos of the uh, cranking and that got me to kind of uh, crunching some of the numbers so I wanted to show you what I think we saw today I think the best place to start is with the vehicle battery when it was charged back up um, at 11 and a half volts basically 199 amps um, it cranked the engine and volts times amps is watts so it it took 2285 watts to crank the engine uh, with the micro start on there it was down to 9.78 volts 221 amps and that's 2161 watts so these two are fairly close to each other the insta boost uh, dropped down a little bit more on voltage to 8.19 114 amps and that was producing 934 watts now this number up here I think is relevant because at 7.39 volts um, we could not the truck would not crank so somewhere between the 7.39 and the 8.19 um, the battery is not going to be able to crank the engine it's not going to be able to keep the starter engaged so obviously this you know any, either, any unit that's closer to the 7.39 if it's cold outside or the battery is even dead more dead um, it's going to have a harder time cranking it and a, a good chance it's going to drop out and not crank it. With that said, the way I understand these things work, um, they have a pretty good recovery between uses. So you can use it for a minute and then you got to let it cool for three minutes, something like that. And you can do that you know, several times before the amperage really starts dropping off. So on something like the Pilot, it, you may um, be better off hooking it up to the battery letting it dump its first charge in the battery to bring the battery back up a little bit maybe even dump a second charge in the battery um, and then try to crank it that way you're not cranking against such a dead battery um, don't know haven't tried it you know it may be something you have to try uh, another observation here the the insta boost I think it was maxed out you know it got down to 8.19 all it could put out was 114 um, amps usually the lower the volts the higher the amps but once you're maxed out on on what the batteries will produce you're not going to get any more than that so that's why i think we don't see where we did like in the truck versus the uh micro start you know the the voltage went down the amperage went up we didn't see that here and I, like i said i think that's because it was maxed out um one last observation my meters aren't peak reading meters so um i think we captured good numbers i think everything makes sense hopefully they do to you hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day Bye bye